All right, so now we've plotted bug levels by site and colored the points by year, which is somewhat illustrative. It seems like Little Bay in particular um, had a problem on one day in 2013, um, but all these points plotted on top of each other um, makes it a little bit difficult to compare. So in addition to colouring your points by um, a variable of interest, another thing that you can do to help you see patterns in the data is to use facet wrap. And what facet wrap does is groups the data and plots it in different facets, which is essentially different small graphs. Let me show you how it works. So we can take our plot features data and we're going to do a similar thing. We'll if an AO net works this time. Um, and then let's try PD plot defining our aesthetics. Um, let's say we want year to be on the x axis and beach bugs to be on the y axis. And let's for the moment leave all the points black, but we might change that in a second. So we want a young jitter. And this time I'm going to add facet wrap. I'm going to use this little tilde thing that is on my computer. It's on the top left next to the one key. Um, you make a tilde and you want to facet that, which means make different graphs for each site. All right, let's give that a go and see what it looks like. Aha, uh -huh. right? So sometimes when you're viewing on the plots pane, these things can look a little bit fuzzy, but what you can do is use the zoom function to look at a bigger version of that graph, right? So what it's done here is plot the bug levels separately for each year, um, but made a different graph for each beach. So we can also add color to that. What we could do is say that we want our color to be defined by year, let's say, and run that again. Right, if we zoom in on that, makes it a little easier to differentiate the values for each year. And, or alternatively, we could say color by site. Zoom in. Sure, that looks okay. What happens if we say color by something else? Let's say color by council. Do we have council data in this? Yeah, we do. Let's try that. Okay. Ah, interesting. Okay, that might be interesting. All right, so you can see how you can use combinations of color and faceting to plot your raw data 
in a way that allows you to see variability and how your variability differs by different variables in your data set.